As a Spurs fan, I know that you live in a world of mostly misery and disappointment. And I don't mean to be smarty pants by saying that, but I know that, you know, that's what football does to it. It kicks us in the nuts. I got seven of them on Sunday or Monday, our time. And and you've just drawn with Milan, and that's the most unsatisfying result because you're out of the Champions League. Yeah, uh, it's a good summary. Uh, it, It was a funny one tonight coming here. The atmosphere beforehand, you could feel a little bit of apprehension about it because Spurs just aren't playing. I, 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 I'm saying this to quite a few other season ticket holders here, Marty. You you come along, yeah, Antonio Conte, you know the style of football, brought into the club as a winner. Doesn't mean a lot of that in the end at the moment here in terms of delivering a long-awaited first trophy for Spurs in a while. But you look at all of that, but you look at the style of football, you have six they're going to kick us out shortly here but i mean in in terms of sixty-two thousand people coming along fifty-nine thousand spurs fans the milan supporter there and everything else um when you're at home champions league nights the lights under the lights everything else i was saying to a lot of them i was putting this point you expect a performance marty that's the thing and that didn't happen tonight and that's the most bizarre thing of all and i'd say as well the point that you've made if you go out to uh you know, absolutely top tier team. I don't know, a Bayern Munich or Benfica last night playing great football. You can kind of accept it a little bit more, but AC Milan are an absolute shadow of a great European football team that's won the Champions League, won the European Cup, however many times. Seven. They're a shadow of that. They're, they're yeah, seven. Yeah, they're, they're an average team, and yet Tottenham Hotspur tonight at home, all the setup. If you look at the FA Cup exit last week, it's all built up for this. It's all about the money. It's all about guaranteeing more Champions League nights again and everything. But there's not going to be any more of those. I mean, we've had one shot through the game, one header from Kane at the end. I mean, that's it. That is absolutely it. It's absolutely poor. And I think, again, people are paying... You think of a cost of living crisis, everything else. You think of people paying money, good money for these tickets. And Tottenham Hotspur teams under Conte, and I'll say that now under Conte because it's, it's happening again and again. Uh, don't turn up in the first 45 minutes. Just content to get to halftime goalless. But the difference was tonight, Marty, was in the second half, there was no great second half Spurs show here with everything on the line at all. No real upgrade uh, at all in terms of performance. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot to think about. It's a very, as you'd expect, a very, very downbeat atmosphere here. You have to also bring into this, in the context of this season, how our neighbours down the road are doing mm, as well. Mm. Uh, that is a factor as well here. Even when Spurs have been in the top four, that is a fact of life in professional sport following teams. When your rivals are there looking to win the Premier League for the first time in whatever it is, 19 years, they're there. They're going to be guaranteed Champions League football. Are Spurs going to be guaranteed Champions League football now with Liverpool resurgent? Are they going to be? Are they, They're in fourth at the moment. You can argue they're there. They could still shore that up and get a few more of these nights next season with round of 16 defeats in limp fashion. But where, where does it really get the club? I mean, that, that's the thing, Marty. I know I'm ranting here a little bit, but obviously it's it's passion here. And that's what you feel all of the season ticket holders here. We come along, you support your team through thick and thin. But the thing is, where's the direction of the club? The direction of the club is to get to the round of 16 and meekly surrender to an average Milan team and go another season without winning a trophy while your neighbours down the road are going to win the Premier League. I mean, what is that? A couple of things here. Um, I mean, for a start, I mean, I look, I just I just hate the way that these teams, and and, and, and I'll smear the whole of Serie A with this, and La Liga with it as well. And when I was 14 years old watching the <laughs> World Cup final in 78, and the Argentinians, every time they got tackled, were writhing around on the field with their head in their hands. And I've hated it ever since. And I hate the proliferation mm. of getting touched in the penalty area and every player goes down like they've just been shot from the grassy you know. But they play a dirty brand of football. I don't care what anyone says. You don't have to agree with me, Guy, but watching it, (laughs) my God, the theatrics and the histrionics and things, you know, sure, it's got what part of the game, you know, do we deserve to have this foisted upon us or not? (laughs) Uh, I see where you're coming from. My mind is elsewhere, to be honest, at the moment with that. that, I, I mean, I saw that tonight. I see that up close. You see that in Europe. Let's be honest, Marty. Antonio, Antonio Conte is of that cultural disposition as well. Okay. Well, I mean, the thing is, you can see you can see Spurs see out games uh, in that situation as well, do that sort of thing. I mean, he's got Richarlison into the football club. Richarlison likes doing that as well. I mean, it's it's a way of playing. I, I just come back to it again, Marty. For all it is, Milan come here. They came for a nil nil, and they got that nil nil. And that, as a Tottenham Hotspur fan, 
you're here tonight, second leg, round of 16 of the Champions League. You work so hard to get into this tournament and then you just meekly, limply surrender out at home with this goalless draw. And I just think that's utterly unprofessional, unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable from the from, from the playing staff. And I'm sorry, I have to extend it to the manager. The manager sends them out playing that way to set up that way. Look at tonight, Marty, you watch the game. Dejan Kulisevsky, okay, in terms of ways Spurs are going to score a goal to get back into the tie, okay? Dejan Kulisevsky, every time he gets the ball tonight in front of us, is checking back. That's not Dejan Kulisevsky. Dejan Kulisevsky is a wide forward player, winger, attacking winger, whatever you like to call him. But he's asked to check back. Emerson Royal on the outside of him on the right side isn't asked to go forward. So this comes from the manager. I mean, I know the manager has been poorly and everything else, but the club is in a strange place. You know, I have to bring in last Wednesday, the FA Cup exit in terms of the trophy drag. You've got over half of the Premier League teams there are out of the tournament. And Tottenham Hotspur are at a lower league team away from home. And the team that they put out shows they're not interested in that competition. Uh, you can have debates about how European competition has killed domestic trophies, you know, in terms of the, the way, you know, the teams that are put out now and everything. And that would be a good one to have. But from Spurs' point of view, the last week or so, 10 days, has been absolutely horrendous. But it's been coming. Absolutely been coming with the level of performances, constantly looking to get out of jail after not playing in first halves of matches, which I'll say again, is disrespectful to the people paying very, very good money here uh, to come along that it's also frankly a bit arrogant uh, as well to expect against other teams to come along in the second half and just turn it on, which Spurs have done an awful lot this season in the Premier League, in the English Premier League, but you can't expect to keep doing that, not at this level, even against an average Milan team. You just can't expect to keep doing that. And they're going to have to be, I'll say to you, Marty, one thing when I was coming down the steps from the South Stand and everything, the calls for Pochettino are coming back harder and harder. That was the charm. Former manager took Spurs to the Champions League final. Interesting, isn't it? You know, when you think Antonio Conte has got Spurs back in the Champions League less than a year ago, you know, all of it round there. And now the message from the fans is clear. Are, are Spurs, are Dan, is Daniel Levy and the rest of the board going to listen to that? I would suggest that they should. Uh, I think there's got to be big changes here in the summer. But hey, we've said that about Spurs a few times over the years, haven't we?